make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video Hey Cook Crew, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are finally back with some new build furniture hacks. Now this one is completely based around the brand new limited edition rads that we have. So I am gonna be showing you guys how to create four pieces of furniture for your rat homes and your rat bedrooms. You guys know I don't love rats. So this was definitely a bit of a struggle for me to do, but I will show you guys what we are going to be creating. So first one is a little bit disgusting, you guys. Not gonna lie, we have a sewage pipe and we have a little bit of sewage, which is poop. <laughs> So this is kind of the thing that I picture for rats, like Ninja Turtles, how they live in the sewer so they can come over and get like some food. And there is, I thought I put a bed in here, but yes, you can have your rats come over. This can be where you like make their food. You even can like hide in a pet bed in there if that is how, um, how you want this to actually function. So I will be showing you guys how to create the sewage pipe with the actual sewage drain. And yeah, I know, <laughs> it's gross. So this one here is just a little modified version of the pet ca rat cage, not pet cage. The rat cage, you guys can find a tutorial on how to make this a little bit bigger that I actually posted as soon as these rats did come into game. So this one is just kind of a little version of it and you can just have like your rats go inside the cage. You also can have them down here and like have their pet food. Just if you're not, you know, brave enough to have your rats all around your home, um, you can make this little tiny cage and this definitely can be modified to be like bigger or smaller. Now over here, um, let's go get our rat back. And we actually have um, a rat trap. <laughs> so if you guys do have like rats for pets, you're probably not gonna be a super fan of the rat traps, but um, this is kind of just what it's supposed to be. So we have like the rat you can have lay here. And of course we have the little bait of cheese over in the side. And this one was actually really easy to use. I just wish we had like more posts and stuff. And then last but not least, we do, we're gonna need to go over, pick up our rat, put our rat to sleep, but we have a little cheese bed. So this one was probably the easiest of all. And there also is a food dish. So if you do want your pet like rat to come up here and like eat some cheese, or if you want your rat to come over and just like lay in the cheese. So a lot of different ideas you guys will be able to do and just kind of giving you an overview on how all of these work, exactly what they are. The tutorials are super, super easy, you guys. So, oh, and cheap, I should say that. So with all of that said, let's just go over and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so first up, we are gonna be creating that sewage drain. It's disgusting, you guys, but it is the first thing I thought of when it came to rat pets. So the only thing you are gonna need to do first is pull out your bricks, and you are gonna wanna create a little bit of a pipe, like a circle with your bricks, and then the end, you are gonna wanna make it just like a little darker color and a little bit bigger so it looks like the end of the pipe. So next what we're gonna wanna do is just kind of make it look like the sewage, yes, is seeping out of the drain. So once again, just use your bricks to fill in the hole in the back and then lay one flat and just kind of use your barrier to kind of just use your bricks to make it look like it is pouring into the ground. So you either can use two of the donut rugs, but I used, um, yeah, I used two. You can only use one if you wanna save a little bit of money and use the pots, yes, you guys, for clumps of poo. <laughs> so um, yeah, just kind of make sure they are the same color of the sewage that is coming out. If you wanted to make this a little less gross, you guys can use this for like water. If you wanted to make this pipe like blue with some, you know, splashes of water and just use a water dish instead of the feeding. So what I ended up doing was just kind of placing the pots just kind of all over so it did look a little bit chunky and it didn't really have like a specific order. So there's really no wrong way to place that. And I ended up taking the two side pieces from like the outside of the pipe just to make it look a little bit smaller. And yeah, so then I just moved in and hid one of the feeding dishes in behind. 
So next what we are creating is the rat cage. So just in case you guys want to play a little more like realistically and you didn't feel comfortable having rats run around your homes in Adopt Me, I do have another tutorial on a rat cage. If you guys want to see it a little bit slower and a bigger version, this is something you can recreate different sizes of, but the only thing you are going to need is a barrier for the bottom. Use bricks for like your second level of your rat cage. Your shelf is going to be like how you climb up on top. Then just place one of the pet beds, some pet food, some water, and one of the decorative banners. And this is the little Dorito. It looks like a piece of cheese, like a cheesy Dorito. <laughs> so um, yeah, then what you can do is just delete out all the barriers that you used to place your bricks and items, and then pull in your glass barriers on the back the sides and the front to enclose it and make it look like a realistic cage that has like the little plastic um like the enclosure and then you are going to need a lid on this as well so you guys can see this one a little bit like differently i do have the cover on the other tutorial a little bit differently but like i said you guys can create this any color any size that you want um, to actually match your home. So I just made mine super bright and purple. So next on the list, you guys, we have the rat trap. So this one's a little bit, um, some of you guys might not like this one, but I mean, some of us do unfortunately have rats that can be pests around our home. So the only thing you are gonna need is some brown bricks just to kind of make the wood base of the rat trap. And then what you're gonna wanna also use are these like little workout weights and you can find them in the party section. So you're gonna wanna have that just kind of in the middle because that is going to be like part of the trap. And then of course we are going to need to pull out some coat racks. We're gonna use three of those in total, I believe. And then of course we're gonna need to put in our pet bed because you're gonna wanna have your rat kind of laying down in here. So I just kind of made that the same brown color as the bricks. And then just kind of fill this in so that it does like completely cover up the bed. And because the bed is the same color, you can't see it. And once you place those, and have your pet sleeping here as well. So next it does get a little bit complicated, but it is still easy, you guys. So we're gonna place a little um, rectangle, triangle, I don't even know my shapes, rectangle piece of cheese for the bait, and then you're gonna pull a barrier over where the weight is, and then just kind of use your racks to merge into like the weight section and then pull another one over into that black piece. You can't like see the end of it and just to kind of like hide it. So we have one of those on each end. Then what we're gonna wanna do is move that barrier out of the way and we're gonna need to find that weight again um, over in the party section and pull out the weight and you're gonna want that on the end piece as well. And then we're gonna need to pull out one more of the coat clothing racks just to kind of put it into like the middle as like the part that you latch. If you guys have seen these rat traps before, sounds complicated, but it's really not. <laughs> so that is the last piece of the actual rat trap. Super, super easy. And as you guys have seen the rat just like lays um, where that piece of cheese is. Now the last one is actually the easiest and you do only need two items, not including if you want to have like your food dish or your pet bed. So all you're going to want to do is just kind of play around with the bricks to make that like cheese slice. You can make this thicker too. Like if you want your cheese to be like a super thick block of cheese. But I ended up just like making this into a perfect triangle or the best I could do. Fill it in and keep like that same orange color. And then what I ended up doing was also using the bowls. And unfortunately, I wish like some of the bigger ones could be recolored as well. But if you want to have a pet bed in here, just move one of the bricks out of the way, place your bed in, make it the same color as your cheese and just cover it back in. And then I also just added in a food dish, which you guys can choose if you want to have food and like a pet bed or just the pet bed. And just like that, super easy peasy. All right, Critter Crew, well, that is everything for today's video.
video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the tutorial and how to make these super easy, super cheap pet rat furniture for your home. Of course, as always, if you guys do add any of these into your homes, definitely make sure to tag me over on Kristen Plays on Instagram or over on Twitter as well. You guys have been tagging me when you create these in your homes, and honestly, it's so much fun to see you guys use them. So definitely make sure to give today's video a very, very big thumbs up. It always lets me know you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments if there are any other pet hack furniture you would like to see me recreate and hopefully I'm gonna see the critter crew next time. Bye guys!